much for choo choosing us here on KTN Weekend at One. My name is Grace Nganga. ESCC led Kenyans in commemorating the 20th International Anti-Corruption Day in Muranga County, where the commission has urged Kenyans to share information concerning attempts of corruption. The commemoration comes at a time when the commission has recommended the prosecution of former senior government officials, including former CES Treasury Ukuri Atani and other officials over the sale of telcom. Wasin Gishu Senator Jackson Mandago also stares at being charged for a number of offenses from the Finland scholarship scandal. Parliament, I don't know what will happen, central government, we need to see how to address the issue of fake certificates. Exam cheating. Today, any Kenyan, you go anywhere in the country, you get admitted directly because the Kenyan education system is valued. But with the way we are going on, very soon will be declassified and you'll be told, come and sit for an exam before you go to the university. Thanks to corruption. So ESCC cannot pick all these people. We have to streamline laws on how to deal with fake academic papers. We are talking of political culture. I know Governor, you are a politician. Honorable Nyoro, you are a politician. The political system must support the war against corruption. As ESCC, sometimes we find it very ridiculous. Eh? You attend a meeting where you find some senior politicians and they tell you, you ESCC, you are not working. And you know that politician has got issues in your office there. Serious issues. You feel like telling him, but you are one of the culprits that we are looking for. But you keep quiet, you know, protocol and whatever. You know, uh, Honorable Nyoro, when you go to parliament, especially when you are appearing before those committees, you have a very special privileges. So it's like a, a church or a mosque and the worshippers. There was a time I attended a parliamentary a Senate uh, committee meeting. Then when I answered them, they, told, they said I was rude. So I told them, I thought this is not a church or a mosque where you just listen and go. <laughs> I, I also have to ask questions. Because in a church or mosque, whether the pastor or sheikh is talking good things or bad things or nonsense, you keep quiet and finish the service and disappear. So we, we, it's very, very interesting. We are talking of the moral decay. The big question I keep on asking people is, why during our time there were no exam leakages and there were no police escort? Exams used to be brought by a Land Rover, the headmaster signs. Actually, they stay in the headmaster's office. The mass paper, CPE, the first day is English and composition. The second day is mathematics and general paper. They stay in the office of the headmaster. Some of them with those, uh, we used to have locks called diamond, made in China, with very small keys. And nobody will break. Today, a container is escorted by GSU, police, NSIS, uh, regional commissioner, and still there's leakage. So, so uh, moral decay. You cannot blame the government. There's a problem with us as a society. We are talking of uh, petty corruption. People say, why don't you go to those people who are stealing billions? You are just arresting policemen. Do you know the inconvenience the traffic corruption causes to a common Kenyan? Somebody called me sometimes back because we schooled together in primary. In fact, he called me using my nickname. Say, Kijanangwa Meshiko Tuk Tuk na police hapo haina indicator. Sanane usiku. But you know, he doesn't know that I'm a CEO because he looks at me as a former schoolmate. Now you can imagine, a border border is asked to pay 500 shillings by a policeman. That is the whole day profit he was looking, profit he was looking for. He is extorted and giving it back to the police. When you do it collectively, the, there's what you call tangible losses and non-tangible losses. Tangible losses, I'm a pena person. Non-tangible, he has been delayed. Maybe that day he would have made 10 trips. He's now making five trips. At the end of the day, that person will come with little money. And with the little money, he will spend little. And then the government loses. Because if he was to spend 1,000, if the VAT is 16%, uh, he would have coughed 160 shillings to the cough of the government. But because he has spent 500 shillings, the government got only 80 shillings thanks to the traffic police. So the ripple effects, they are quite wide. And also the image. 
The other one we talk of, how do we digitize the devolved government and the central government? Right. As, and as the world marks the International Day of Human Rights on December 10th in Kenya, 10 outstanding human rights